Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to show you how to do that cool subscribe title in DaVinci Resolve 17. Let's check it out. Alright, so I'm in DaVinci Resolve 17 right now. I'm on the edit page and first off we're going to create a fusion comp. So let's go over to the effect library and here we're going to go over to effect and we're going to drag a fusion composition in the timeline. So that's going to create a new fusion composition. We're going to go over to fusion and then we're going to be able to start creating our title. So now we get the media out. Perfect. Let's close the spline editor for the time being and let's close the clip so we get more space here. So first off, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring over a text right here. Okay. And then I'm going to bring a background also. On that background, I'm going to add a rectangle, which is going to create like the box. So I still have the background selected and I'm going to click on the rectangle. And here I have pretty much all the elements that I need to create my box. Okay. So now let's link the text to the background with this. Perfect. And now let's view what we've done with the merge node. So for the text, let's add subscribe. Perfect. And here we'll get like the beginning of our subscribe button. Then I'm going to move over to my background again, which is basically my box. So I'm going to click on the color. Then I'm going to click on red and I'm going to change the color of my box. Then I'm going to want to adjust the box size. We're going to go down to those parameters and reduce a bit the width, reduce a bit the height. And here I want to have clean uh, corner. So I don't want to have those sharp angle corners. So I want to have some adjustment here on the corner radius to make the corner a bit more round. Perfect. Then I'm gonna adjust a bit my height again, I think. Perfect. And here, as you can see, we got already the subscribe button ready. So that is done. Now what I will need is basically to have a mouse uh, like this mouse actually and animated it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over to Flaticone, which is a website with a free copyrighted uh, design. So you can use that. I've already downloaded this one here. I provided the link below if you want to follow or not. So here, you're just gonna import the SVG file. We're gonna go back to DaVinci Resolve. We're gonna go over to Fusion up there. Then we're gonna go on Import, SVG. And here we're gonna just bring the SVG in, okay? Now we're importing the SVG, perfect. It's right here. I have, as you can see, my element. I'm gonna ungroup it. And here, as you can see, sometimes it doesn't import it properly. So you will have to kind of check, okay, what is what, what element look like how. And this one, well, it doesn't serve any purpose. So I'm gonna delete it. Um, this one, let's click on it. Okay, this one is good. I'm just gonna delete the merge and that's basically uh, the design that we need. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna link it to my uh, current box. So I'm gonna just bring those two nodes together in a new merge. Then once that is done, I'm gonna move over the view to this and I'm gonna want to reduce the size of the polygon. So let's go over to the polygon one. And here I'm gonna reduce the size to about that, I think it's fine. And put the position from that here. So now, as you can see, I have all the elements that I need to do that subscribe uh, title. So I'm just gonna go over and do the animation right now. So let's link the merge to the media out. And we have everything in place for now, but nothing is animated. So let's start the animation with the mouth. So I will want the mouse to come into the code and click here at 16, at the 16 frame. So I'm gonna keyframe that. Let's go over to the polygon. And here the polygon, I'm gonna just move it on the subscribe. Here, that's where I want it to end. Yeah, okay, perfect. So let's do that. I'm gonna keyframe the center and then I'm gonna go back to zero and I'm gonna put the polygon out of the frame. 
So let's move that out of the frame. Let's reduce that and put it a bit on the side. And now if we play it, it's come into the frame perfect. And then we're gonna go out of the frame, let's say in the 24 frame. I'm gonna want it to get out. So let's add a keyframe again, 24. And here, let's say, same thing as 38. I want it to get out of the frame again. So let's remove it from the frame. Perfect. Basically the same animation. So here we get the animation coming in, coming out. Perfect. The thing is, I would like to have a smoother animation. So I'm, I'm gonna go to the spline, I'm gonna click on polygon here. So the spline is right over there, and there is a polygon, and I'm gonna select my keys, and here I'm gonna hit S on my keyboard. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit T, and I'm gonna open that window right here, and I'm gonna add a lot of easing. So I'm gonna put the easing at 85. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna smooth my animation a lot. So it's way smoother, looking way better, perfect. But now I need to make a simulation of the click. There is something that needs to happen between the subscribe and subscribe. So let's do that right now. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go over to where we think the click can happen. So we're gonna put the click at 18 because that's when the mouse is coming in. So here, I'm gonna put a keyframe on the text. So let's start actually 17 frame. 17 frame, we're gonna put a keyframe on the text and we're gonna put also keyframe on the color here. Perfect. And then I'm gonna go on the 18 frame and here the color, we're gonna change it to gray. So let's change that to gray. Um, Let's go over to black and then make the local adjustment, make it gray. I want it to be gray like that. Okay, let's click on that, perfect. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the text. I'm gonna go over to the text and I'm just gonna add a D for subscribed. So here there is no need to make a smooth animation because basically it's happening in only one frame. There is nothing to smooth out. So here we go. That's how we do a simple subscribe to subscribe button uh, in DaVinci Resolve 17. There is obviously a lot of ways that we could improve it, but it's a beginner tutorial. I hope that was helpful. If you want to use those kind of titles, but you don't want to have to make them from scratch, we have a YouTube creator pack where you have all those kind of assets directly from the edit page. So if you go to titles here and we're gonna go with YouTube to show up the YouTube pack. And here, as you can see, we have a lot of different assets that you can just drag and drop uh, in your timeline. You don't have anything to do to them. Um, you can make every change that you want still in Fusion if you need to, um, but you can also make all the modification about the size and everything directly from the edit page. I hope this video was useful. See you in the next one. Bye.